The Steam Deck OLED released quite a while ago, and at this point, some people were kind of thinking that we weren't ever going to see Windows drivers. But lo and behold, Valve has finally released Windows drivers for the Steam Deck OLED. And some people have waited a very long time for this because the Steam Deck OLED is amazing. A much better battery life over the original Steam Deck, this slightly improved performance, overall thermals. It is an amazing device with that beautiful OLED 90Hz display. And I figured it's been a minute since I talked about Windows on Steam Deck, and so I thought I'd revisit the topic for all those people who just now are installing Windows for the first time on their Steam Deck OLEDs. So let's jump right into this, starting with why should you install Windows on your Steam Deck? Well, SteamOS is amazing, but it's a Linux based, so certain games actually don't allow you to run. Games like Call of Duty, Destiny 2, and it's for a myriad of reasons, whether it's because of anti-cheat problems, or if it's just the fact that that game lacks any Linux compatibility. The most common kind of game you might see that lacks any Linux support are esports titles. Games like Overwatch, CSGO, but in this instance it actually works on the Steam Deck because it's a Valve made game. On top of that, there's also games like Apex Legends. And there's so many other games out there that lack any sort of Steam Deck compatibility. And another problem with the Steam Deck is that in SteamOS you only can download games from Steam. Obviously, it's SteamOS, it's made by Steam. Of course, you can only download games from Steam. There are so many other storefronts other than Steam out there. There's Epic Games, Origin, the Microsoft Store, though loathed, is an option. And there's many more, like EA, but I hate that one the, probably the most. I mentioned the Epic Games Store. That's probably one of the most popular or most requested things to be able to come to SteamOS, because the Epic Games Store gives away games constantly, constantly doing giveaways or deals that are sometimes better than what Steam offers. And you can't simply download those games easily on the Steam Deck in SteamOS. There are ways to do it, but it's never been especially easy and honestly is a huge chore to get them to work. And even if you do get them installed, it's debatable whether or not the games would run properly. At least in my experience, I got all the way to the point where I get, get a game to boot, but it just wouldn't work or just run crappily. And that's Kingdom Hearts, and that's not a difficult to run game. In fact, it's now on Steam, but I originally bought it on the Epic Game Store because that's where it got launched first. Same thing about Borderlands 3, it was a timed exclusive on the Epic Game Store, and I simply don't want to buy those games again. So for me, running Windows on my Steam Deck is one of the main ways I get to play all my other games outside of Steam. Another reason why you might want to install Windows on your Steam Deck is software compatibility. If you want to use your Steam Deck as your one and only computer, Windows might be an easier operating system to do that in. I know I would prefer being able to run Windows on my Steam Deck if I was doing all my work on it. I even made a video using my Steam Deck as a dedicated computer for all my needs, and it isn't easy to use the Steam Deck that way. But using Windows on it was actually fairly easy. Though it had its problems and I had to do a lot of learning and understanding on how it works properly and how to find some other software fixes for things. But after that, it was a pretty painless experience. Now my most common problems I get in Windows are just normal Windows issues. So I recommend installing something like Handheld Companion or Deck Tools or anything like that if you want to get or fix rather some controller incompatibilities with certain games or link them into Steam through big picture mode and stuff like that to help any controller issues you might find with alternative app stores. So overall, yes, I feel like running Windows on your Steam Deck is amazing, and there's so many different ways you can do it. For me personally, I have an entirely separate SSD that I have my Windows install on. You can swap between the drives fairly easily. The Steam Deck doesn't have that many screws on the back and you just pop the back off, swap the drive, and then you're done. The whole process takes less than five minutes if you've done it a few times. And I'm fairly comfortable doing it that way because I don't have a huge amount of storage in either of those SSDs for my SteamOS or my Windows drive. So I just found it easier overall just to have two separate drives for this instead of having to cram it all on one for dual booting. I did have a dual booting setup before and I had a whole video talking about whether or not you should dual boot your Steam Deck. But for me personally, I didn't have enough storage on my SSD to sustain that. So after the video, I sort of just reinstalled SteamOS on that drive and then kept my main Windows install on a separate SSD just because 
I was too lazy to buy a new SSD and once I got the dual booting to work and tried it out for a while and kept all my games on an external drive, I just figured that was the easiest way to handle things. Now that we've finished discussion of whether or not you should install Windows on your Steam Deck, now it's time to discuss performance, and that is an interesting tale to tell. Performance in Windows is great, for the most part. Certain games do run better in SteamOS than they do in Windows. For example, Elden Ring runs substantially better in SteamOS than it does in Windows, and that's because of the pre-shader caching. Similar reason to why the game was so buggy at launch was because of the pre-shader caching. On SteamOS, it wasn't a problem because you were able to download those shaders before you entered the game, which fixed that issue that was plaguing people when that game first came out, which that problem has been since resolved, but it still helps in performance for the Steam Deck just because the Steam Deck is pushing that line so closely to the point where it's like, it might not run well, might run great, and being on that edge means every little bit of performance you can get is important, and SteamOS gives you that extra little push for the game to be that much more playable. I'm not saying it's a bad experience in Windows, it's just better in SteamOS. And for all those esports titles like Call of Duty, for the most part, they run great. Call of Duty in particular and Modern Warfare 3 runs remarkably well, especially if you turn the settings all to low and enable FSR 3, you can run anywhere between 60 and 70 FPS, depending on what's happening on the screen, but it's actually fairly stable and runs very well. It's one of my favorite ways to play Call of Duty now. Destiny 2, the whole reason why I even installed Windows on my Steam Deck in the first place, runs pretty good, anywhere between 30 to 55 FPS, depending on what's happening on screen, and I tend to run those games with the full four gigs of video memory you can allocate to the Steam Deck, which I highly recommend you set when you switch to Windows because you will notice immediately games running so much worse in Windows if you do not have that four gigs of allocated memory. Now that we've discussed performance a little bit, what are the drawbacks? Well, in my experience, battery life tends to be a pretty consistent downgrade over SteamOS. Do bear in mind though, it wildly depends on what games you play. I notice on average though, anywhere between an hour to 30 minutes less battery life than I do on SteamOS. And I can basically chalk all that up to just poor Windows battery management and task management in the background. It's one of those just small things that it's a quirk of Windows. It's not necessarily something you can easily fix unless you install a modified version of Windows 11, like tiny Windows 11 or Windows 11 ameliorated, which basically kills any of the background tasks and does a lot of other things that I am not smart enough to say or remember. Basically though, there are ways to help the battery life when in Windows, but in my experience, it doesn't help much and it's not gonna be great at the best of times. So I would just get comfortable with bringing a charger around wherever you go. There aren't very many other downsides out of the battery life for the Steam Deck and Windows, but I would love to hear what you guys think. Are you interested in installing Windows on your Steam Deck? Did this video help you decide whether or not you should? And are you excited that the OLED Steam Deck finally has Windows drivers? I would love to hear what you guys think about this down below. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. All the other social media garbage down below. And last but not least, have a wonderful day.